My people, we are here at the Rio Theatre in Vancouver, checking out a festival called Badass. <laughs> like a kind of person who would look good on camera that's why I'm also getting you in the picture thank you all right my people we're here at the Rio theater and we're gonna interview some of the people who are so amazing a part of this movie Amy it's so scary it's the movie that's closing the festival can't wait to see it I'm so scared already I'm the kind of person who's so scared about scary movies I, I don't even know man but this is like I'm fighting my fears <laughs> I've known these filmmakers for a long time. Over the years, I kept running into them in different cities, and uh, they, when they got the the funding to do this movie, they called me up and said, "Hey, would you be part of it?" And I was like, "Yeah, I'd love to be part of their movie." So it's amazing to be here because it takes so much to make a film. It's so many moving parts. There's so many people, so many, you know, like everything that takes part in making a movie and to see it done and finished and have these boys be so successful is pretty important I think it's amazing absolutely yeah. and how great is this for Vancouver because this is like a local thing to Vancouver right? it's really good yeah I mean anytime well Vancouver is an amazing city for filmmaking too like they've the crews here are incredible and the actors are amazing so it's a great place to make a movie for sure. Absolutely. Yeah. So I'll tell you something. Right here, right now, is smelling popcorn. Okay, I don't like the smell of popcorn. It makes me want to get some popcorn, but I can't get popcorn. It's gonna be stuck in my teeth, and I have to do interviews. And then I'm gonna be like, you know. We've been green lighted, my people. We're here tonight at the Rio Theater for the Vancouver Bad film festival yo so Rusty you're such a hard-working guy I know it because I've seen you at work. <laughs> it's yeah it takes everything you got man you want to get into the film industry whatever you got it'll take so, yeah but, but where do you even find the time to do everything that you do um just I stay up all night yeah you just binge you just write all night and you just keep going and going and then eventually it just catches up to you and you just collapse a couple weeks later, you wake up and you're fine. So, Absolutely. but it just, just, yeah, it's a self absorb It's very absorbing to, to write a script. I find it's just, I, I like to work 10 to 15 hours a day on it and just be completely immersed in the world. So, oh my goodness, yeah, it's a lot of fun though. So this is such a smart movie, mm. and I'm thinking like this is the kind of thing that a lot of people are going to be awakened by this. I hope so yeah. because you know genre-wise, it's it is a, a slasher film and it is you know geared towards uh, teens, but. There are so many other levels. I mean, it speaks uh, about social media and its effects on us in general, but, but also more specifically our youth. I mean, uh, more so even today. Uh, how many times have we seen our children listen to their phones more than they do their parents? And I think this film is one of those dark fairy tales, and Rusty crafted it masterfully, that really speaks to that uh, in more ways than one. Once you see the film, you'll see that and sometimes it's in a literal sense as well. So how is it for you being on both sides of the camera? Like you're a writer, you're an actor, and then you're also in the production process. How, how is all that coming together? You know, I absolutely love the entire process of filmmaking. Uh, Amy was the first film that um, I actually was just solely involved in the writing process and the producing process and, and from, from top to bottom. And I have to say, I think both inform the other. It's all the same thing. It's just pure creativity and story telling and you know whether you're using a pencil crayon or a paintbrush it really is similar strokes in a lot of ways so Absolutely. I love it. 
So there's like your family people, they yeah. see you making movies and they're like, put me in your movie. Man. Yes. What are you Are you telling? in my next film? Let's do it. <laughs> we'll, we'll shoot right now. I love that. You should. We'll do it. Yeah. I love that you said that. Yes. It'll be a horror film though, so just be ready to die. Yeah. <laughs> So everybody wants, well, not everybody, but there's so many kids who want to be in acting in movies. What would be your advice to these kids? Oh, that's a great question. Just start doing it. I would say join a class just to get your feet wet. You know, go and sign up and do as many student films as you can. You know, you have, we have iPhones now. Create your own web series. Don't be afraid to fail as many times as possible because it's through failure that we really learn. And just never give up. Uh, never give up. Never give up. Yeah. Go easy on yourself. There, yeah. There's going to be a lot of really humble, very difficult things that happen once you put yourself out there. And people will beat you up and, it's, and you will focus on that. But don't do it to yourself. You know what I mean? Let yourself off and, and you did this for a reason. You believe in, just keep believing in yourself and go easy on yourself. Go easy on yourself, my people. I actually have something to add to that that ties into your slogan is, I think you have to find your people and you got to stick with them because not everybody can like you. And not everybody can love you. So you, <laughs> you don't need to be loved love by everybody. No, and nor should you seek it. Yeah. So, you know, if people don't like you, you've got to stay true to who you are. Find your people. You know, they're out there. Exactly. And then that's what I did. You just hold on to everybody. Absolutely. You know? So, last question Are you a badass? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> that's what we're here for, man. Let's uh, We're throwing down. If you if you ask if you ask my wife she might say different I don't know if she, she thinks she might I'm, say yes oh his wife yes, will say it's a hot ass yeah. <laughs> I feel like I'm soft and sweet but I'll, I'll say I'm a badass right. sure why not all right my people we will bring you some more in a few. Your popcorn is smelling so good. Yes. I don't like that because it's making me want to eat popcorn. <laughs> Can you stop your popcorn from smelling so good? Uh, we've tried, but we can't seem to stop it. It's just the coconut oil is something in it, and it just, it's irresistible. Rio Theater in the house. Say wow. <laughs> Woo. So a lot of people wish to be actors. What would you, what's the tip? What would you tell them is the tip? The tip? Yeah, you give us a tip. Give it, I want to be an actor too. I'm always trying to sneak on sets and stuff like well, that. Well, you know, <laughs> I don't know. I teach too. I teach acting and voice and body work. And I feel like the industry's changed a lot. Mm -hmm. um, so for me, I'm not gonna have the popular answer. My answer will be like, you gotta, you gotta work your ass off and learn how to live in this world because the world has changed so drastically. Our art has changed and how we access ourselves has changed. So I feel like that's important. Like know thyself, right? We can go back to Shakespeare and go like know thyself, and that's sort of. The, I don't have like the sneak on the set yeah, or like slip somebody your number <laughs> or I also think make your own work. Mm -hmm. I also think that is the number one way mm -hmm. to get in with all of these platforms and we're so inundated with so many different things. Yeah. So just creating your own stuff actually does make you stand out. Mm. So this is not a popular answer because... <laughs> Because people don't want to hear that it's hard, and they don't want to hear that it's work. We're like in the fast food uh, society That's where right. you You're want right. your stuff in two minutes, That's so right. you think, okay, it should take two minutes. So the fact that you tell me that it could take two years or 20 years, that's like bad news right there. <laughs> I'm the bearer of bad news, apparently. I'm the doom and gloom. Um, I, uh, I'm sorry. No. <laughs> How is it working with this guy? You know what? Do you even like him? I love him. He's like the brother I never had, honestly. And we, we first worked together on a movie uh, a bunch of years ago. I had no idea who he was, and we work really well together. I don't have to say much to him, he doesn't say much to me, but we get it done. All right. Yeah. So clearly you paid him to say all that stuff. All yeah, good. Stuff Money well you. spent. <laughs> yeah, 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 it's good. But, it, but it's mutual, and it's been great to, to have, a, have some partners that, uh, that we really collaborate on a way that's um, 
just easy, just easy, like uh, shorthand yeah. uh, right off the bat. So yeah, absolutely. Very like nice. Relationship you you don't have to try so hard in. Oh, that he one. Gets me. The one that everyone him. is looking for but can't find. He, we're the unicorns for oh, each wow. other. That's so good <laughs> for you guys. I hope you keep producing so many more movies, well, yeah, especially since you're yeah. doing a great job. Well, thank you. So how is it? When your film that you work so hard on is nominated and it's closing a festival, like what's the feeling? Um, well, when we spent numerous nights toiling, no sleep, just almost starved, uh, losing our minds, uh, this is where we get to have fun. and. Uh, we rarely get to have fun when we're working so hard and, and this we get to appreciate this. So this is awesome. Oh my people, this is why I became the media so I could just come here for the fun part. <laughs> uh, and yeah, my, my sentiments exactly, really. Uh, you know, during production it's uh, very intense and now it's to kind of lay back and, yeah. and really enjoy what we've done. You know, I won't reveal the stuff, but the okay. cell phone going crazy. Like Artificial I'm intelligence. Of the cell phone right now. It's listening to us right now. Yeah, yeah. Not, not even a joke. Well, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> really, it's totally. true. Yeah. And uh, yeah. So it, you think it's gonna turn on us? It already has. Mm. It already has in more ways than one. I can't get off the damn thing. It's yeah. it's hooked me. Yeah. So what's the solution? Garbage. Yeah. <laughs> All right, my people. We are at the Rio Theater closing of the Vancouver Badass Festival. Okay. So just gonna go on stage and just act like I own this place. All right. Tell my people your name. Hi, I'm Veronica. I play Sarah. So. You're so young. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, yeah, like, um, it takes place in high school. Uh, so, you know, the younger looking, the better, I guess. <laughs> 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 I've been in high school for a couple years now, but yeah. it's always fun to, you know, relive high school drama, for sure. Yeah, totally, totally. So, is this what you wanted to do, like, while you were growing up? Because I can't say you're grown up yet. Yeah, no, I, I love acting. I, I love acting. I love being behind the camera. I love being in front of the camera. I have lots of experience in both. And honestly, I, I love them both the same. Nice. Yeah. Nice. It's always changed. I always want to try something new. Nice. And who did your makeup? Because your makeup is so perfect. I'm me. so jealous. I did it. <laughs> teach me, teach me. Look at how I messed up my face. No, you look amazing. Oh, okay, okay, okay. <laughs> So this movie is a winner. It's closing the gala night. Yeah. What does it mean for you? I mean, that's pretty crazy. That's a really crazy feeling to be uh, closing a film festival. It's I like, I don't even really have words for it. It's just like it's amazing. It feels really good. <laughs> Definitely like a nice little ego boost. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, totally. Like your friends already thought you were cool. Right? Like extra, extra cool, man. Definitely. <laughs> so what's your ultimate dream? Where you see yourself in the future? Oh, that's such a big question. <laughs> I have so many different um, passions and ideas for what I could do, what I want to do. I love acting. I love um, making music videos. I also really love animals and kids. So, you know, whatever direction life takes me, that's I'm gonna do them all for now. <laughs> I wish you everything, everything that's good for you. Thank you. May it come to you. Thank you so much. All right. It's so nice to meet you. So how are you involved with this? Stuff? So I am in the teaser of the movie. That happens at the very beginning and then it kind of sets the whole mood for the movie. Yeah. That was my involvement in it. Yeah. How did you like it? It was really fun. Yeah. I uh, I work with Clayton, so that's how I got involved in it, and I love working with Clayton. Like he's he's the best to work with. So it was really good to like shoot something with him. Um, it was a it was a long, dark, cold night in the middle of the woods, which is so essentially what you see in the teaser is exactly how it felt. It's exactly. At the time. How exactly. It was. Yeah. Oh, yeah. It's so realistic. Oh, it so is. Like in the middle of nowhere, yeah. just dark. Yeah. Yeah. Oh, so is this what makes acting good? It's like when the environment, when the entire totally. environment yeah. 
is what's going on. Oh, for sure. Like, it helps so much. It yeah. helps so much. Like, being able to put yourself in that place. Um, yeah, it always helps. Nice. With environment, if you like, with costumes, with anything that adds to that character, like, always helps. Yeah, totally. Hey, my people, you and I talk show right here, right now, talking to ha Havana. Havana. Yeah. Cuba. Yeah. <laughs> Are you Cuban? No, I'm not. I'm not. <laughs> no. So how did your parents like? Okay, I, okay. Maybe I should be talking to your parents about this name. About my name? Yeah. I think they just wanted to go there really badly, and then they never got to. Uh -huh. So they named me after they trip. They never got to do. <laughs> yeah. But we went like two years ago. Oh, really? So it was nice. Yeah. Finally, you met Finally. Them both. Yeah. Oh wow. So yeah. how did you like yourself? Oh, over in Cuba, in Havana, it was it was a lot of fun. Yeah, it's really beautiful over there. Nice. Mm -hmm. So let's talk about this movie. Yeah. How was it working on it? Oh, it was so much fun. This is one of the best like crew and cast I've ever worked with. Um, it just felt so easy, um, and it, such a fun film. It was just it was. It was wow. Great, Even yeah. with all the blood and everything. Well, that's the best part. <laughs> yeah. 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 Oh, I'm so scared. Right? Yeah. 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 So, w what is this? Do you like making people feel scared? Like, is this your genre? Is this what you prefer? Oh yeah, horror, yeah. horror is awesome. Oh, yeah, scaring people is great. Yeah. Oh, I never watch horror. No? no. No. Yeah. No. Somebody forced me to come here today. Oh really? No, really. <laughs> yeah. yeah. <laughs> no, I don't yeah. know. It's like, oh my god. No, like, I don't like watching horror movies as much, but making them is really fun. Oh yeah. 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 Of course, maybe you're not as scared. No. Do you still get scared when you see it? Sometimes, yeah. Okay. Yeah, of course. course. They, they editing can, makes it look a lot. Editing makes it yeah. so great. Yeah. Wow. So, what is your ultimate dream? My ultimate dream? Yes. Oof. Um, I mean, it's been my dream to be an actor all my life, and so as long as I'm just keep making films that I love being a part of, that's all that really matters to me. <laughs> so. It's Amy. I don't know if it's Amy, like Amy, Amy, or Ami in French, which I mean in French would be like friend, but what kind of friend would do this to you? I don't know. The thing with people in the movies is the money. And you guys are the producers. Mm -hmm. So where's the money? Where you get this money from, man? I don't know <laughs> where the money is. Where is the money? <laughs> money? Oh, oh, man. Uh, that's a good question. I'd, I'd, I'd love to find some more as well. Uh -huh. <laughs> I, I, you know, I, I, I thought it was just for the love. Uh -huh. yeah. uh, the money is, it'll come. Okay. You, you work hard enough, you love something, um, which we do. Yeah. We love storytelling. It will come. Absolutely. It will come. It will come. Okay. Please, it will come. My people, meet the voice. Oh, yes. Hi. <laughs> I'm Amy. Actually, I'm Bonnie Hay. <laughs> yes. So, oh, how does it feel to be like this scary voice behind everything? Well, you know, you don't approach it like that. You know, I have to approach it as if it's a real person who is caring for this woman um, uh, and who she is perceiving as her daughter and, and she perceives her as the mother, the voice is the mom. And so, I, you know, I still have to take it from I'm, I'm looking out for you, I'm caring for you. So the voice, even though it's a little more uh, structured, and I talk more like this mm -hmm. at first, but then as the um, movie goes on, um, it, you know, we kind of um, delved into her becoming more real um, and having, having her daughter hear it more, more realistic. And, yeah. and so, so it was a nice little arc and a nice, like, nice shifts that I was able to do. I yeah. see. Yeah. Do you have any daughter of your own that you want to do this kind of thing to? Do I have what? Any daughter of your own? No, <laughs> no, I don't. You may want to no, this. <laughs> no, I don't know if I would be okay with like my kids getting into <laughs> this stuff. It's hard. Yeah. It's a long road. Yeah. But you know, if that's your passion, yeah, you gotta stick with it. Nice. Yeah. Is this what you always wanted to do? I've done it my whole life. Yeah, yeah. So I was started in theater when you know I was little and I was a singer, and then I. Uh, uh, High school, 
uh, I did all the plays, and then uh, university, I majored in theater, and then, yeah, so I come from a theater background first, and uh, when I eventually moved out here, got into film and TV, wow. so, yeah. So, so, since you're already doing great things already, and you're living the kind of life that most people <laughs> want to live, uh, yeah, okay. what are you going to do when you go to heaven? <laughs> How about when I grow up? Okay. Let's get there first. <laughs> I'll do the same thing. If there's a heaven, I'll be entertaining the troops. Yeah, nice. <laughs> my people. You heard that stuff, man? Yo, my people. Who needs anybody else? Just you and I. Yeah, you and I. You and I. You and I. Popcorn. Popcorn. You're torturing me right now. You're torturing me. Like, you're just torturing me, man. This is like... Why, 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 why can't you stop being so good? Come on, people, your favorite you and I talk show right here, talking to... Debs Howard. <laughs> <laughs> nice to meet you. Nice to meet you, too. So, uh, are we going to talk about this? No. Uh, talk about what? <laughs> I don't know. What do you mean? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I have, there's a baby. Uh -huh. I have a baby. There's uh -huh. a baby in my body, which is wild. Okay. Yeah. Is this something that happened during the shooting of this movie? <laughs> no, no, it didn't. Uh, it happened soon after, though. Yeah, I was like, there was a lot of long, cold, lonely nights in the apartment afterwards that my boyfriend had to console me. <laughs> now I'm pregnant. <laughs> Congratulations. Thank you. Thank you. So are you scared of cell phones right now? Are you going to let that baby have a cell phone? <laughs> oh. oh, good Lord. This baby will not know a cell phone exists until it's like 20. Um, that would be my dream. Yeah. But uh, no, I, I'm not scared of cell phones per se, but I do think that they can be scary. Yeah. I mean, in a lot of different ways, I think. I think we have a lot of mental health kind of issues going on in the world right now, as we have for a long time, but um, I think technology can be helpful, but it can also be detrimental Absolutely. to things like that. I think there's a lot of noise in here. I think they're all screaming for you. <laughs> I don't know about that, but there's a lot of noise. Yeah. I, yeah. <laughs> Might be the popcorn. Oh yeah! Oh, the goddamn popcorn! The it's best. so good. It smells so good. I can't wait to finish so I can go eat some. Yeah, yeah. So, what is like your wish for the future? What is your wish? What do you want to accomplish? I'd really like to make uh, more meaningful films, more meaningful art. I'd like to direct my own film one day. Um, and again, I just want to make people think and I want to make people laugh. So okay. as long as I can do that, I'm happy. All right, I'm, I'm laughing and I'm thinking. Perfect. <laughs> Great. Thank you. Mission accomplished. <laughs> I love being surrounded by good looking men. Anybody tell you that? I love it. I love it. I'm a paradise. <laughs>